My name is Danko Jones. I'm reporting for Rock Hard Magazine, and I've been uh, asked to talk about hair metal uh, today, glam rock, uh, for some people, poser metal. Um, and growing up, uh, it was a little more hardline when you were a kid. You were either into glam rock or you're into Maiden and Metallica, Judas Priest, and Motorhead. It was, and if you were into hair metal, you got made fun of and you got called a fag by the guys who were in Iron Maiden. I was one of the dudes who liked Iron Maiden and made fun of the glam rock bands, but privately, and now I can come out of the closet here, privately, I liked a lot of that shit too, and I had all the albums too. Like I, I liked Cinderella's first album, Night Songs. I thought that was a really solid effort. It was more ACDC than people give them credit for. Um, uh, I liked Poison's first album, Look What the Cat Dragged In. What can I say, man? I asked my mom to buy it for me for Christmas <laughs> one year. Hair metal was a, centered in L.A., a bunch of dudes that kind of wore hairspray and lipstick, and they played really thin guitar-sounding fourth-generation Aerosmith New York Dolls type of music, but were never as good as Aerosmith or New York Dolls. They were kind of, you know, it, you kind of liked it when they kind of got rocking, uh, you know, a la ACDC, but uh, it was... Uh, glam rock to me, when I think back on it, was uh, very anthemic, too. Like, choruses were very catchy and, and sweet and like very, very catchy, poppy choruses, very anthemic choruses with sing-alongs and stuff. But they weren't sing-alongs like Maiden or like A Creeping Death is a sing-along. They were just kind of like, let's go to the show and make out and just do all these like really poncy, soft things, you know. And and that was cool because, you know, they wanted to get with girls and, you know, growing up, you know, you wanted to too. But they always looked like girls, and they were dudes. It was all this whole transvestite thing going on that, uh, you know, I, I, growing up, it's hard enough going through puberty and adolescence. Then you had to deal with, like, people like Brett Michaels and Ricky Rocket looking like girls. It was just too much. It was like visual overload. You know, when you look at Bruce Dickinson, that guy is a, that would be an ugly girl. So there's just no way that Bruce is going to be in poison. There's just, that can never happen. So it, it made it easier as a kid growing, going through adolescence, trying to figure out who you are. Then there was bands that kind of straddled the line of rock and glam rock. Like, you know, Van Halen were definitely a rock band, not a hair metal band. But David Lee Roth, you know, he, he looked like he, would, he could be in poison if he, if he put on some lipstick, you know. There were real big offenders like Warrant, Winger, and poison. If you liked any of those bands, chances are you're going to get your ass kicked, um, or you're you're going to be called a fag, or both. Um, and I can honestly tell you that I I did like Seventeen by Winger, but I just never got the album. Never got a Winger record, but I did get one Poison record. Never got the follow up. So I'm cool. I'm I'm safe. I think I'm okay. I think I'm still cool with that. That's all right.